Welcome back to the Traveling Foodies. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share so everyone can see what the Traveling Foodies do. Have you ever ridden a boat inside of a hotel? Well, if not, come join us as we tour JW Marriott Desert Springs and let's see what it's all about. In this video, I'm going to be doing a tour and review of the JW Marriott Desert Springs. Situated on 450 acres of land, the 884 Room Resort is located at 74855 Country Club Drive, Palm Desert, California. The resort is 15 miles or a 25 minute drive from downtown Palm Springs and the Palm Springs Airport. It's kind of secluded, but that's all right because the resort has a lot to offer. When you arrive at the resort, you come down a long driveway overshadowed by tall, beautiful palm trees. At the end of the driveway, you can either turn left to go to the complimentary self-parking or continue straight to the valet. By the way, valet is $45 a night at the time of recording this video. Once you get yourself situated with valet and bellhop, you enter the hotel's lobby through the double automatic sliding doors. On the left side of the lobby is the concierge kiosk, the bellhop station, and the hotel check-in desk. If you enter the lobby and go right, you will find a full service Starbucks. You know I had to get my fix, baby. If you enter the lobby and go down the stairs, you will find the lobby bar and lounge area with plenty of seating to eat, have a drink, meet with friends, or even do some work. The lounge area gets pretty active in the evening. Also in the lounge area, there's a sushi restaurant, Aquifer 65, but we'll talk about all the food at the resort in another segment of the video. Continuing past the lounge area down the stairs, you arrive at the boat dock. The boat ride costs $10 per person and is by reservation only. You can either book with a concierge or through the JW Marriott Desert Springs app. The boat ride is very peaceful. Now, fun fact, we actually got on this boat ride twice. The first time, it was a very horrible experience because it was some bad little kids on there. Second time was perfect. Furthermore, it lasts 20 minutes, so it's, you know, a little relaxation, little peaceful type thing, so you want to go ahead and do that. And even in the evening was nice because they have lights on there too, which we found out later. Continuing through the lobby just past the Starbucks, you exit the automatic sliding doors and get an amazing view of the lake, pool area, and golf courses with the mountains as your backdrop. Continuing on the walking path is the Colonnade of Shops, which are small stores that have various items. Moving on is the restaurant Fisherman's Landing, but we'll get back to that later. Going down the stairs, you come to the JW Entertainment Zone. As described by VisitGreaterPalmSprings.com, unique and filled with energy, the JW Entertainment Zone is a gaming emporium featuring new and retro arcade games, win prizes and more, fun for the whole family. They did have a lot of different games and they had one of our favorites as a family which is cruising. They also had air hockey which we played that. I even saw Tomb Raider. They had bowling as well which was very unique and me and my son played the motorcycle game. It was just a lot to do and they also had prizes you can win as well. Just outside of JW Entertainment Zone are three Oasis pools. The Oasis Upper Pool, the Oasis Lap Pool, and the Oasis main pool. The shot you're seeing now is the Oasis main pool. This is where most of the action takes place during the day. There's plenty of lounge style seating around the pool if you want to just get a tan. There is a pool bar that serves cocktails and non-alcoholic beverages during operating hours. Across from the pool bar, there's Oasis bar and grill. They serve your typical burgers, fried chicken strips, and other finger foods. The resort provides pool towels for its guests so you don't have to worry about bringing them down from your room. Connected to the pool area is a bridge that takes you over the lake and back into the main lobby. If you exit the lobby on the opposite side, there are long games such as a Giant Connect 4, Giant Legos, and Cornhole. Okay, so aside from the pool bar and the Oasis bar and grill, let's get into the many restaurants of the resort. Continuing on the walking path, you come to Blue Star Lounge and Rockwood Grill. This lounge slash restaurant combo gives you the option to have a traditional sit down dinner. If you're looking for something more romantic and adults only, you can choose to have a cocktail in the lounge portion. 
by the way, they have live entertainment from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Friday and Saturday evening. For the lounge and restaurant, you have the option to dine indoor or outdoor. Back in the lobby, the newest dining experience sits just adjacent to the lobby bar, Aquifer 65. Aquifer 65 has its own handcrafted cocktails, bar bites, sushi rolls, and other Japanese favorites. Moving along, we have Fisherman's Landing, which serves various seafood dishes. We were able to do a quick walkthrough. You'll notice all the families having dinner. On the other side of the resort, there's Mikado, which is a Japanese steakhouse with authentic teppanyaki dining similar to Benihana. They have seating available at tables or at the hibachi grill. In addition to all the on-site restaurants, guests also have the option to order in-room dining from a menu of various foods. In-room dining is from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. daily. The next thing I'm going to talk about are all the activities you can do while on the resort. I know I already mentioned it earlier, but the boat ride, I feel, is one of the most unique activities that can be done at this resort. Why? Because when have you ever been to a hotel where you can ride a boat and see a lot of the amenities and restaurants and things that are about the resort? Never. So that's definitely a must see. The next activity is tennis. The resort has eight regulation size tennis courts for the guests to use. You can see this young lady practicing her swing with her coach. Additional to the tennis courts, there's also a tennis club where you can stock up on all of your tennis gear like outfits and shoes and equipment such as tennis bags, rackets, and balls. Moving along, the next activity that guests can enjoy is golf. The resort is home to two 18-hole golf courses. The courses are fully open to the public at all times. You can check and schedule tee times through the JW Marriott Desert Springs and Spa app. Next up is the fitness center. The fitness center has exercise bikes, ellipticals, treadmills, and even free weights for you to get a good day's workout while on vacation. At the Spa Desert Springs, you can enjoy a massage or a facial. The fitness centers and spa hours are from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. In addition to the three oasis pools, there's an 18 and over spring serenity pool if you like a little more peace and quiet away from all the families. The resort has bicycles for you to rent and ride around the resort. We took full advantage of this activity when we were there. The last activity is the mini golf course. It was right outside of our window. We saw a lot of families with young kids enjoying this activity. Now before I get into the room review, I just want to say that there are a bunch of pretty colorful flowers, trees, and plants all over the property. Whoever designed the landscaping for this did an excellent job. It really makes you feel like you're in an oasis away from the city. This is not an amenity or an activity. But something else I found quite interesting at the resort is a pond of flamingos. I just wasn't expecting them to be there, but it added a special touch to the resort. Now it is time for the room tour. Are you ready? Hello there. So we are at room 5137. Let's take a little tour. Nothing fancy, just showing you around. So, of course you have your standard sink. You have enough room to put all your things down. Yes, it's a little wet. We wash our hands here, sorry. Then you have your deep soaking tub here, which is very nice. It looks very chic and modern. Then you have your toilet, which is here, nothing fancy, just toilet. You have your shower that comes with a, I call them like a rain shower head. I don't know if that's a technical term, but the rain shower head, and then you have like the little handheld part you can spray on. They also have the bar in there to hold on. I'm assuming like if you have difficulties getting around. Um, so there's that. And then you have your standard closet, nothing fancy. It's just where you keep your laundry or luggage, all that stuff goes in here. And then you have your bed with two nightstands. There's one on each side for your um, phones or cups, whatever you want to put there. And also there's plugs on each side as well. So there's two here and also a light so that if you need to see at night, you can see. 
and each one turns on individually so you don't have to wake up your partner and then we have the dresser i've noticed that only these open this one is i don't know it's just stuck like it's i guess for decoration and then of course they give you your ice bucket with your cups and then also have like a little coffee maker here like a keurig type and also they give you coffee there's tea here there's some biscoff in here cups everything to make your coffee um, you get the big screen TV, which is nice too. You get all these mirrors in here. I like this, that is so many mirrors. Like this one, it's kind of weird. It has like a little orange tint to it, but hey. Then you also get some lounging type things. So you get like a little personal seat here. They also have a chair and then they have this little ottoman, I guess just to chill on. And then as you can see outside, you get two chairs out there as well with a little table. It's actually pretty spacious. Um, it's a lot of room out here, like just to hang out if you want. We have a great view. I believe this is like the side, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we're on the side. So we're on the side of the hotel, but the front is that way. And then if you look just down here, this is the little mini golf golf course that's right here. And people have been playing like all day and night. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, it's a nice little hotel room, very comfortable, uh, very loungy, very peaceful. Um, if you do come out here at nighttime or like right now in the day, you can hear the water running. Um, which is very peaceful in the morning, like to have a cup of coffee, to sit here and reflect, you just chill. And yeah, that's it. Here are now some pros and cons of the resort, starting with the pros. All the activities and amenities is awesome. It's all inclusive, so you don't have to really leave the property if you don't want to. They also have the arcade, the boat ride, restaurants, and I mean, what kind of girl doesn't like Starbucks? That is spot on. The room was very spacious, modern, and look remodeled. Every room has a balcony. Now, I know I need my fresh air, and most people do, so that's perfect too. Now on to the cons. The exterior of the resort looks slightly old and dated. It could use some fresh paint. Um, but the resort opened in 1985. It's actually still in good shape for it being about 39 years old. The valet parking being $45 a night and self parking being nearly impossible to find. That's something in itself. That's a whole different beast. Who is this resort for you might ask? Well, it's for the whole family. There's something to do for every age group. It's also for anyone in SoCal looking to do a quick getaway maybe even a couple trip. A lot of people also book this resort when they go to Coachella every year as well. All about the pricing. We were able to get a one night stay for $228, which was a special rate. But the regular rate for this resort can range anywhere from $370 to $1,000 a night in peak season. Now, is it worth it? Yeah, sometimes you gotta splurge a little, depending on what you're trying to do. I think it was worth it and I rated maybe about uh, let's say like four out of five stars let us know if you've ever stayed at this resort before or if you plan on staying in the near future or even later on in the future as usual if this is your first time here make sure you like comment subscribe and share so everyone can see what the traveling foodies do traveling foodies out perfect